How many times have you heard someone say, if you want more performance, add more RAM? This is a myth as old as computers. It's true, having enough RAM is really important, but having more than enough does not improve your computer's performance. Modern graphics cards come with between 2 and 12 gigabytes of video RAM or VRAM built into the graphics card. AMD recently released the RX 480 with models having either 4 or 8 gigabytes of VRAM. But is that extra VRAM helpful? How much do you really need? That's what we'll try to figure out in this video. How much video RAM you need depends on what you are doing. In gaming, the more graphically demanding the game or the higher your resolution, the more VRAM you'll need. Today, modern PC games often use more than 2 gigabytes of VRAM, but rarely more than 4 gigabytes. To make things more complicated, games don't use a fixed amount of VRAM, but use a variable amount depending on 1. What is happening on screen, 2. Your resolution and graphical settings, and 3. How much VRAM is available on your graphics card. TechSpot recently tested 11 PC games at different graphics graphical settings and resolutions with graphics cards ranging from 2 to 8 gigabytes of VRAM. They discovered that the difference in VRAM rarely mattered. In fact, only 3 out of 11 games showed higher performance with more VRAM. Here's a look at The Witcher 3 running at 1080p. As we can see, TechSpot tested 3 different graphics cards with models that were equivalent aside from their amount of VRAM. Performance was essentially identical at this resolution, even when cutting the amount of VRAM in half. Even when raising the resolution, there is little difference between the cards, including cards with only 2 gigabytes. And where there is a noticeable difference, the frame rate isn't high enough to be playable anyway. Lowering the settings to increase the frame rate to a playable level removes the performance difference between the cards. The biggest difference showed up with Rainbow Six Siege running on maximum settings at a resolution of 2560 by 1600. In that test, an R9 380 with 4 gigabytes of VRAM was 26% faster than an R9 380 with 2 gigabytes of VRAM. In this situation, it would definitely be worth paying for the extra VRAM. Tech Report, Puget Systems, Gamers Nexus, and others have also tested different VRAM amounts and come to similar conclusions. More VRAM can be useful in limited situations, but usually makes little or no difference. Unless you know that your particular game, graphical settings, and resolution will benefit, then choose a graphics card based on the GPU itself and don't worry about the amount of VRAM. Getting a more powerful GPU with less VRAM is a better idea than getting a slower GPU with more VRAM. So there you have it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Please like or dislike like this video and subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about PC hardware. Thanks for watching.